Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand the difference between the iterable versus iterator and this is an important interview question also so you should know the difference so let's start with the iterable an iterable is any object that can return its element one at a time example of iterable are we have a list, we have a tuple, we have a string, we have a dictionary right these are the example of a iterable and this all the iterable right we can loop it we can iterate it so that is nothing but a iterable let's take an example of list so i created one list it contains the mul multiple elements so whenever you will create uh, this list right this will get stored in the memory itself now if i want to access the element if i do for i in lst i am able to access the element one by one so that is a iterable now come to the iterator so iterator are subset of a iterable only iterators are a subset of a iterable only but value cannot be accessed at the same time as they are not stored in memory at once in the case of iterable all the as soon as you create a list or any any iterable right this all the value are stored in the memory itself but in the case of iterator the value cannot be accessed at the same time as they are not stored in the memory at once so that is the main difference between the iterable versus iterator and that you should know now this is a iterable now how actually we can convert this iterable into the iterator so if i'll do lst1 equal to the iter iter is one method with the help of that you can convert any iterable into the iterator and it this iterator are the subset of a iterable only so what i have done i have used iter method i am passing lst now if i'll execute lst1 if i'll do lst1 you can see this list got converted into the iterator means we have converted into the iterator now how how actually we can access the elements because it is saying like value cannot be accessed at the same time all the value because they are not stored in the memory at once so in the case of iterator values are not stored in the memory at once so whenever you will call the next method right so when we have a one next method if i'll do lst1 in this case you can see we are getting one because the first element is one right now if i'll do again now you can see the next element is three now if i'll execute again now you can see i'm getting the four whenever you are calling the next method right on that time only whenever you are taking action whenever you are calling the next method on that time only the memory is getting initialized and it is getting stored in the memory so that is the difference in the case of the iterator but in the case of iterable all the value are stored in the memory and that can be accessed at any time but in the case of iterator until and unless you call the action the memory will not get initialized and it will not store so that is the main difference between the iterable versus iterator and how actually we can call the iterator and with the help of next right 5 and 6 now you can see all the element it access but after that if i will do a again right it will throw me error that is a stop iteration error so how to handle this stop iteration so what actually you can do you can loop it so whatever the iterator you have created right this actually we can loop it if i'll do for i in lst1 and if i'll do print you can see iterator also you can see i am able to access that so but uh, uh, you can see right when we are using a next right at the last actually it is giving a stop iteration but when you will use a for loop actually this will automatically handle this stop iteration so this loop actually you can use in a iterator also so what is the difference between the iterable versus a iterator iterator differ from iterable in how they handle the data instead of holding all the elements in a memory an iterator calculate or retrieve each element as needed now when to use iterable versus iterator so whenever you will be having a iterable right so suppose you have a millions of the data so in this case what will happen uh, everything will get stored in the memory even though you are not using all the uh, values but in the case of iterator until and unless you will call the action right then only the memory will get initialized so from a memory saving perspective these iterators are very much important so that is the difference actually you should know so with the help of the iter method we can convert any iterable into the iterator and iterator as a subset of a iterable only that you should know so i hope you got the idea